Every time you travel abroad, you get jet lagged and people will tell you that your biological clock is out of sync with the physical clock. But have you wondered how your body actually keeps track of time? More fascinatingly, every cell in your body keeps track of time and it does it using an actual clock. Except it's not a physical clock, it's a biochemical clock. But to understand that, let's understand how a clock works. The concept of a clock is based on finding things in nature that switch between two states in the same amount of time repeatedly. And then we use it to keep count. The simplest and oldest of these systems, a pendulum. You suspend something heavy, lift it up and let it go. Gravity and inertia bring it down, make it go up, stop and do it again. Of course, this is how a grandfather clock works. But you can't use a pendulum in a wristwatch. So in the 20th century, we found another way. If you shake a quartz crystal, it produces electricity, the piezoelectric effect. So you can do the reverse. If you give the crystal electricity from a battery, a quartz crystal vibrates 32,768 times every second. If you like maths, you will realize this is a special number. If you divide 32,768 by 2 15 times, you get 1. But let's make it more intuitive. Imagine a switch that I keep pressing. When I press it four times, the light comes on two times because it goes on, off, on, off. So only two times the light is on. So this has the effect of dividing by two. Now do this 15 times. So you can go from 32,768 times per second to something that can drive the second hand of the watch very accurately. But wait till you realize how biological life does it. All our cells have this remarkable protein called Chi-C, whose biochemistry is complicated. So let's think of a parking garage in a mall with extremely lazy stuff. There is no fast tag and every transaction is slow. There is a protein called Chi-B, which acts like the green light. When the green light is on, cars, ATP molecules, are allowed through one by one. But roughly 12 hours later, another protein called Chi-C, who's the guy in charge of communicating that there are no more parking slots available, shows up and shows the red light. Now the attendants simply ask the cars to go back. This remarkable biological clock allows life to adjust to the cycle of the sun. 